What's going on YouTube? It's Day Life here, and today's video is all about whether or not you should build your own gaming PC or buy pre-built from the various manufacturers out there like Origin PC and Alienware, CyberPower PC. Both options have their upsides and downsides. Whichever you choose, though, you won't be disappointed with the gaming experience and quality that a gaming computer can deliver. I'm going to present to you the pros and cons of each. If you're a console gamer that, that has always wanted, um, that has always been interested in gaming PCs, this is a video for you or anyone in general that loves gaming as a whole. Weighing the pros and cons, it all comes down to price, convenience, performance, and quality. Uh, building your own PC will always be less expensive than buying a pre-built system of similar specs. Companies will charge a, mark a markup fee. By building the PC yourself, you can skip the markup fee, which can be anywhere from a few dollars to as high as you know, several hundred dollars. However, paying less and building the PC yourself comes with investing some time, researching the best components for your budget, assembling the computer, troubleshooting, and stress testing to make sure you have a solid build. For most PC gamers, building the PC itself is the best part. When I built my PC, I spent the entire day perfecting just how I wanted it, from the cable management to the fan orientation. To me, it was a challenge that I was willing to take on, but I can understand how for some it can seem like a daunting task. You know, bending a pin on a CPU can seem like losing well, not seem, but means losing a couple hundred dollars. If you're the type that, you know, likes the challenge, I, just, I suggest going the uh, do-it-yourself route. Uh, I spent a couple months just doing research alone, waiting for the best deals, timing the release of CPUs, GPUs, pretty much, you know, anything. You don't want to buy a component to then realize that a week later, a brand new GPU with new architecture has been released for the same price of the GPU that you got a week before. A common issue is choosing the wrong component that isn't compatible with your motherboard, like the CPU socket. If this happens, your computer won't work, and that sucks. If that happens, you will have to return the component, which will then cause an even longer delay. Some retailers have, you know, return policies for open items, while other retailers will only let you return if the item is unopened. So, that, you know, that's a, not a good risk. These are all the things to take into account when ordering your parts. And this is why researching is a critical asset in, building, in the building process. One thing to consider is that warranties in pre-built systems are work as a whole. If something goes wrong with, let's say, your GPU, the manufacturer will honor the warranty and take the whole PC, figure out, you know, what the problem is. If you build the PC yourself, you have to find that, the, you know, you have to find what the issue is and send that single component to the retailer or manufacturer of that specific component. This can be an issue for some if you can't diagnose the issue of your PC. You know, if you don't know how things work or you have an issue but you can't figure it out, um, you, you're gonna either have to go to a computer tech, which will cost more money, or do some research again to pinpoint the issue and component. If you don't have the time to research or actually build your PC, or the idea or the idea of doing it yourself stresses you out too much, you might wanna go with pre-built option. But remember, building, your, building uh, the PC yourself will always save you a good chunk of money but more time consuming, of course. Let's talk about the performance uh, between uh, you know, do-it-yourself PC and pre-built. They're both the same. If you get the same components on each build, they should theoretically work the same exact way and give you the same exact performance. Now, when you bring the price into, picture, into the picture, then self-built will have you know, obviously the better price to performance ratio. Overall, hardware you know, is hardware. It, it, whatever you buy the same GPU same GPU it's not gonna be different it comes down to price really when it comes to quality building your own PC is all dependent on how much time you spend looking up components and your manufacturers reputation you know you don't want to buy a component from some manufacturer that that sells really bad components you know the more you spend on a component the better the component is which you know will have better performance um, this gives you more freedom and control over your build if you buy pre-built, you won't have complete control over the quality of the build, but you also won't be responsible for choosing the components and assembling the system. You know, overall, you know, it's a pretty tough decision for most people. Um, you know, not a lot of people want to build their own computer. Um, so it's a tough choice to make. You can either buy a pre-built computer or you can build your own system. What it comes down to is how much you want to pay and whether or not you feel comfortable building and researching components yourself. If you'd rather have the peace of mind that comes with, you know, knowing that someone else will guarantee the quality of your computer and you don't mind paying more, then buying a pre-built computer is the way to go. If you want to really take control 
over your build and maximize performance performance while at the same time saving a few hundred dollars then building the pc yourself is the way to go plus you'll be able to show all your friends and brag about it all right youtube people if you have any questions leave your comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching peace out